Hey guys, what's up? It's Arcrypt7, and welcome to another tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a while. Now this is a 100% uh, no loss. Um, <laughs> can't talk today. Uh, another work farm. <laughs> That's what it is. So as you can see, it's really simple, really easy to build. It's extremely tolerable. You can build it up as high as you want, and uh, no loss. So you just go this. And Bam. Um, for some reason, I did get some glitched out there, but that's. I don't know, it's just for leggier computers and stuff. Because like, before. The times I tried it without recording, uh, it didn't do that. But. Jeez, I don't know how you can fix that. Okay, never mind. It might not be 100% no loss, but. Yeah, you, you get a ton of it. As you can see, um, when you pull this, it's completely nowhere else it can go. I guess, yeah, glitch through there. But if your computer is good enough, and it, it shouldn't be a problem. So, let's get with what we need. So, the any kind of building block, redstone torch, piston, obviously you're going to need that uh, soul sand. You need torch, obviously you're going to need redstone. You can go ahead and take a lever. You're gonna need some. Oh yeah, we got some soul sand. Uh, what else are you gonna need? I think that might be about it. Uh, piston, everything. Yeah. Oh, and hoppers. Now you can do water streams if you want, but this is the most simple way. Now there is a way you might be able to improve it, but I'm, I'm not gonna show you it. Um, I'll mention it though. So what you're gonna want to do first of all is uh, place. Your, wherever your chest wants to be, you can, you can make it a double chest or not. Oops, I let's face that way. And you're gonna want to place a hopper, or you can do this with water streams. But I'm just gonna do it with the hopper. And you want to place 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to place soul sand in all those. Like moi. Oops, and then with your block, you're gonna want to make an L shape like that, an upside down L shape, and take out those two blocks. Same here, take out those two blocks, and you're just gonna want to pull this all the way to the end, like that. Now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to place redstone in all this. Now this is where you can. Um, make this better so you initially have a redstone torch like this which will activate all the pistons along that line now I believe you might be able to no you, never mind can't improve it um, but yeah that, that's your next step there is you gonna want to place block redstone torch in a block after you have the redstone on all these this I, call, I said this not this <laughs> and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to dig some blocks out like that and on this block place another redstone torch to invert that this block redstone torch and let's see how I did this over here all right all right so then you just get uh, your redstone. I did it a little bit differently. And then you just place that there. And now you can just place your pistons like this. And layer one is done. You just need to take that and they all go. Now there's a problem with doing layer two. So first, let's place our soul sand. I know we didn't place it for, yeah. Yeah we, yeah, we placed it first last time. So yeah, just place your soul sand out again. Do the uh, same thing with the L. Like that. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty much building the first layer again, but there's a little bit of a tweak that you have to do when you're Repeating this upwards. Uh, we'll 
it doesn't matter what stuff you do, like you place your pistons before you place your redstone. It really doesn't matter. You're gonna want to have scaffolding when you're building this in survival. You also may want to have water scaffolding so that you can uh, replant all this. Have water source blocks so you can swim across and replant, go off and swim more. But yeah. So what you're gonna want to do is with this one you place the redstone right there. This time go over block and place the redstone. Like that. And the reason for that is if you did the exact same thing as the last time and you place the redstone just like that, it'll be extended. So you just kinda wanna invert it quickly. And uh, yeah, you're just gonna wanna place a redstone torch like that. That way, as you can see, both of them extended. So you can go ahead and do the same thing here. Skip a block and just place some redstone. Do the same thing. So now you got this. And now pretty much if you want to do this, this is uh, technically one layer because if you want to redo this again, um, the next layer would be starting from here, like this. So that means you can place your redstone like this again. Just like you did on the first layer. And then again, you want to do that again. So as you can see over here, it's pretty much all I've done. See? No torch, torch, no torch, torch. And uh, so yeah, that's really all you have to do. I'm not going to show you uh, it all, but if you want this to be fully functional, first of all, make a place you can get in, like this. And you're going to want to place glass over this. And you want to place glass. See, this is our very top layer. As you can see, our top layer is over there. You know, well, you don't want have to place gr glass, just any kind of block. Just this is just so that they don't fling everywhere. I know it kind of flung, you know, over places over there, but it's not really that bad. Like that, and these are really all the blocks you're gonna need, just on the sides here. Um. It doesn't really matter where you put the entrance hatch, you can put it over by the chest, you can put it on the other side or on both sides. It really doesn't matter. But it's really just that simple. And you just keep tiling it. Like I could just as you can see, oops. If I did this, it would just keep going like eh. So uh yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And this is it, tiled up five. But there really is n literally no limit you can tile this up to until it stops rendering, which I don't which I don't know if that's necessarily possible. I know it's um, entities like zombies and stuff will despawn. I, I'm not sure about uh, entities or redstone. But um, yeah, because it's a torch tower, it has no limit. And this has the limit here, but really you, you don't have to build it 15 blocks if you don't want. If you want, you can just do it one block like this and just have, you know, soul sand here. I don't know why you do that. Maybe you just want to make it a small farm, but yeah. That's how it works. And it works really well. Um, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Uh, wow, I did this in exactly one Minecraft day. It's the sun setting. Just when I started this video, I put times that day. It's awesome. I hope this helped. I'm definitely build, build, uh, building this in my single player world. I just came up with this last night. Um, yeah, I hope this has helped a lot. And by the way, for those who see my single player series, uh, this is the creative world that I said it worked perfectly in. They died here too. But we got lots of cooked chicken. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.